Alright, it's peer review, and I'm experiencing a lot, <laughs> a lot of regret right now, because I had a brilliant opportunity, and I didn't know that it was going to just be done away with so quickly. I had, just on a whim, decided to check out Brett Keen's channel. I think I... Oh, you know what it was? I watched the straight dope on, on Brett Keen earlier today, and I figured, you know, I'll just go check out, see what he's doing lately, and I saw that five days ago, Brett Keen made a video entitled, Brett Keen is Dead, in which he breaks from his form and signifies a change in himself. He reverts to the old Brett Keen, and it's at that moment I realized I had to make a video. I had to make a video that's like, hey, weather forecast here, Brett Keen might be changing his mind again soon, changing his tune on some issues. And then I saw that his most recent videos, at the time, it was like just an hour ago it had been uploaded, was this fourth, I believe, of a string of videos that took like a red-tinted, almost Satanist imagery type of video style to them. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to make a video uh, entitled, Brett Keen Satanist? Question mark. But I don't have the opportunity to do that anymore, because Brett Keen, over the last few hours, because right now on my system time it's 2.36 a.m., <laughs> he has removed all the videos that I would have taken a screenshot of, and I probably would have downloaded a couple of them just to sample from in doing the video that I was planning on doing earlier. But I don't have that opportunity now. The nature of my video has changed, so it's kind of turned into one of those late-night rant videos that probably are going to suck a lot. But I feel like I should just go ahead and mention that <laughs> I think it's pretty clear now that Brett Keen has decided to present as an atheist again. My personal suspicion, and I don't want to misrepresent him because, honestly, like there's so much Brett Keen bashing that goes on, and I won't even pretend that I don't enjoy it to some extent because it is kind of funny uh, just to talk about about situations, individuals, and matinees, <laughs> like, you know, I'm immature, I giggle at that stuff. I even make some of that stuff, as you've seen. You know, I don't have any ill will towards him, and if he is presenting as an atheist again, which I think is probably the most likely explanation here, I just want to express my fondest hope that he will decide that he's going to turn over a new leaf. I hope he decides that, you know what, with this new change is going to come a change in how I carry myself. I'm going to be more forthcoming about some of the things I've done. I know he's done this before. Uh, don't don't think I, I'm so naive as to think that this is likely or anything. I'm just saying that I hope uh, this will signify a greater change in him than, than just a change in marketing style, because that's kind of what it's been before, at least that's what I suspect is when he changes his belief system, it's it's just because he feels like it's in the best interest of his channel. And, you know, I don't even necessarily blame him for that, you know? I'm sure there's a lot of people on YouTube who misrepresent themselves in order to gather a different audience than they might have otherwise gotten. I don't condemn people for that. Brent, if you happen to be listening, just know, hey, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about whatever. Just know that I'm not after you. You know, you're a human, I'm a human. Let's talk like that, okay? Uh, have a good night, everybody.